Hey, hey everyone. I'm Nick with NV Board Gaming. Today we are doing a solo playthrough of the Red Cathedral. We're pretty much set up here for a two-player game, so you're going to set up just like you would for a two-player game. Uh, this is my player board right here. I'm the green player, and my opponent over here is going to have the yellow player, and their board is going to be... They're not actually going to have a board. They're just going to have these cards laid out and these tokens for their flags. So if you don't know how to play Red Cathedral, I am going to go through a little bit of how to play as I play. And if you do know how to play, it really plays quite similar. My actions are going to be identical. The only thing that's going to change is the opponent's actions, which are pretty standard. If you've played before, you tend to know these this iconography anyway. So we'll just go through. First thing we're going to do, since we're already set up here, um, I am going to be the first player, so I'm going to have three coins. But they are going to put a flag out first. That's going to be the very first thing that happens after all this setup is done. So they are looking for the most recognition at the base. There are two eights, but they go left to right, up to down. So they are going to take this one, <clears throat> to clean this, and this is going to go away. They don't care about this unless it says victory points. They don't care about resources. When they gain resources, they don't even care what the resources are, and you'll see why when we'll get to that. So uh, that is how we start the game. They're just going to claim that. Then it's my turn. Um, if you don't know how to play, I have three options at this point. Technically, I only have two, but there, there are three options generally on your turn. Your first option can be to simply do what he did, which is to claim. My opponent, Ivan, claimed one of these. He's the only one that can contribute items to that section of the cathedral. I can do the same thing. I can use one of my flags and claim one of these base ones or one above him. Alternatively, I can use a market action. When I use a market action, I take one of these dice, depending on which one I want, and move it to the number of pips. So if I want to use this red dice, I move it here, which is one, two spaces. Reroll the dice. Every time I move, I reroll the dice. I'm also then I'm going to get as many dice here times that to see what resources I get. So if, in this case, it'll be one die. The red die will be alone, so I'll only get one. If I moved, let's say this this one right here one, two, three, four, I would have two dice here, and I would get two of these emeralds, the green gems. Then I would re-roll as well. Also, when you're there, you're gonna, you can optionally trigger off one of these cards. Further, the dice you move might have an ability on your player board. At the beginning of the game, it doesn't. You'll have to pay for that. And I'll show you how all that works. All right, so it's my turn. I am going to decide to, let's claim this one. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I will claim that. So I'm going to put my flag on this. Take this, and I can then assign one of these. Um, let's say I want one, two, three, four. Do I want the green? Nothing really wants green gem, but I do want the purple. I can get to it there. So maybe I'll spend two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I'm going to spend two dollars to put this on the red. So every time I remove the red dice, I am going to get one of these purple gems. It cost me two dollars because that's what it says right here. Two dollars. Uh, by the way, everything here is standard except for the money and the component trays. I only upgraded the, the money for this game. Everything else is standard components. All right. It is now my opponent's turn. My opponent then. Ivan is going to look at his very first card. He's going to trigger it. So he's going to move the blue dice, six, which is over here. He's going to get a victory point and re-roll. So he is moving up a recognition. And he re-rolled. Since this card doesn't have a victory point thing, he doesn't care. He only cares if it has a victory point. Doesn't care about the items or anything. So he got one victory point for landing here. He's also getting four victory points, recognition points, for his card here. So four more. He's at three. He's going to eight. No, he's going to seven, sorry. All right. And that will be his turn. Back to me. I now have some direction of what to go for, what resources to go for. Let's see. I do want emeralds. I want bricks. And I want wood. I can do the wood, go in here and get two wood. That's not bad. Part of me wants to do this because I need this and it triggers the red. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to give me two of those. I am going to move this twice. One, two. 
which by the way, I didn't get my recognition point when I did, nope, I didn't, nope, I'm good. All right, yeah, because my first action was over here. This is my first market action. I am gonna get one of these, because I only have one dice here, so one of these purple, but then I triggered the red as well, so I'm actually gonna get two. When I collect my resources, I put them on the board right here, so you can see there is a limited supply, but everything I claim gives me one, op one more open spot in my inventory. So I can do this as well, but I don't want to, but just so you know, it is an option. I could um, trade items, equal items for a good of my choice. Well, I don't want to do that because I want both of those. So I then re-roll the red dice and it is my opponent's turn. Two again. All right, they would normally put goods that they acquired here onto their board here, right here, sorry. They would normally have goods here based on this method. But these, since these were put out randomly, this actually benefits me because this isn't gonna help them yet. It will help them in the future. So they're gonna do go ahead and do their yellow dice. Three, one, two, three. We're gonna re-roll. Another three, and they're getting a victory point based on this card. And that's that they're done because they can't do this action. They cannot um, put the cards out, or cannot put items on the cathedral because they don't have items yet. So this shuffle, work to my benefit, not theirs. All right, back to me. I could deliver, but I don't really care to just yet. I would like to maximize my delivery, because when you do a deliver action to the cathedral, you can deliver three things. I have two, and I would only deliver one, actually. So let's say I wanna claim something here. Let's claim bricks. What can I readily get on the board? This is gonna change, What's he, he's gonna roll the red next. So that's gonna change. Four, one, two, three, four. That's not bad. So I think I will claim this. Stone and brick, sure. Or I could go above them. But no, I'm gonna go right here. I don't have the money and I haven't earned a prestige yet so I cannot lose a prestige to get two coins. So I'm just gonna tie up this right there. So if you cannot afford any of these, you have to turn it over and just put it down like that. And that's my action. Maybe not the most optimal, but that's what I'm doing. All right, and again, so red, one, two, nothing here, nothing here for them. Gonna flip this over. And again, what I'm saying, they don't have the goods yet. So this worked out really well for me. They're not gonna do that action. And they're gonna re-roll this. All right, back to me. Now I need to get some markets. So let's see, the four is gonna give me coins. One, two, three, four, which is what I'm gonna do because I do want coins at this moment. So I'm gonna go right here for four. And it's a red action, so I get yet another one of these. And I'm gonna get four coins because there's two dice there and it shows two dice. So I'm getting four coins, much needed. I had only one. Reroll these and get one prestige based on where I am at. And back to there. So here they're gonna move the yellow one, or sorry, the white two. Uh, no victory points, no victory points. They're gonna take one of their flags and they're gonna claim one above me. That was their preference. So they are gonna go right here and get rid of this. That's their turn. Back to me. Um, I don't wanna claim another one. Well, it wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I'm not seeing a very amazing card. I could take this one because I do have three gems. I can deliver a gem each, but nah. Let's see what we got out here. Um, did they re-roll their white? I don't know. If I missed it, I missed it. Uh, let's see. I could take victory points. It doesn't help me too much other than I can trade or I can buy an item, which isn't too bad. Maybe I will do that. So I'll go here, one, two, and I'll get two recognition. One, two. And then I will pay two coins to get 
Let's say, let's say I get a brick. Two coins, one brick. Now I can deliver next turn with the most optimal delivery of three. And then I re-roll. Back to them. They're gonna get four items. Sorry, I should have flipped this. They're gonna get four items, so they're moving this one. One, two, three, four. Reroll. Get four items. They don't care about the items. Like I said, they're just getting four items. And it goes right in here. All right. All right, we are good there. That goes away. And my turn. I am gonna do delivery. So I can deliver three items. I'm gonna deliver these three. One here, one here, and one here as well. And that's my turn. I didn't complete anything, so we go ahead and move on. Now you notice that they have all of their actions used. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna to look to do a decoration. They cannot do a decoration because nothing has been completed. So, let's see. I'm going to look the rules real quick. This is my first time playing Solitaire here. I'm going to see what they can do now that they all of their actions are flipped. Uh, uh. All right, if at the start of Ivan's turn, all of his workshop tiles are face down, carry out these steps before taking Ivan's turn as normal. Ivan will place one ornament if he can in the following order, okay? He cannot, so uh, I get to skip all of that. Then take his workshop tiles and mix them up again and place them one by one on the cards in the prime. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. He is not playing optimally. Despite how he is uh, winning right now, this could be uh, much worse for me, that's for sure. All right, because he can't even do this ornament because he hasn't been able to deliver. Red, so he's gonna do red first when he, it's his turn, and it's back to me now. I would like some more items. I definitely want brick. I can get two brick, right, going straight there. That looks like the best move for me. That. Two brick. Reroll. Um, I can spend a dollar to do a delivery. That's tempting. Um, sure. I'll spend one dollar. Or I could just do delivery next turn. It doesn't help me actually to do that. I can do deliver next turn and drop three off there. Did I just send this one to the wrong one? I did. Let me correct that. I put it up here. It was supposed to be right there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Reroll. I don't know. <laughs> I keep losing track if I rerolled this. No one's here to watch. So, all right. So there's that. I'm not gonna spend the dollar, and my turn's done. They are gonna move red once, get a victory point, uh, recognition point. I, again, I'm gonna interchange victory point, recognition point, but it is recognition points and then prestige points. Uh, recognition is just victory points right over along one by one up to eighty. And prestige points are more spaced out, especially at the beginning of the game. They're those eagles. All right. So he went there, got one, and he's going to get four more. So he has nine. He's going to 13. And his turn's done. Let's re-roll him. Uh, that was the red one. He moved one. All right. Back to me. I could get more... Uh, I could get the two wood maybe. Nope, I can't reach that without spending money to get there because you could spend money to reroll dice. You could spend money, um, if it's a green die, you can add, or sorry, a white die, you can add um, steps based on money you spend or if it's your special color, which mine is a green, kind of the green player. I'm not going to consider that. Well... No, I'm not going to consider that. One, two, three. Nah, it's too expensive. I think I might just do a delivery. Keep it simple. Because I could. Well, the one thing is that I couldn't do a delivery here. So I'm actually going to get more stuff. 
So I need stone. One, two, three, four. So I can do that with the yellow, and I will. I'll do that and get two stone. Then I could sell something. Well, I don't really need that gem at the moment. So I can sell the gem for a dollar, or I could buy something for two dollars. I'm gonna sell the gem for two dollars. Or for one dollar, sorry, one dollar. All right, and re-roll this, and it's their turn. Again, not optimal. They don't have the four goods on that card yet. Now normally, that's, that's gonna happen when we get here. This is gonna be transported to this, and then when this happens, when they get this card again, they're gonna come out to here. Kind of goofy, but that's, that's the way it is, that's the way I dealt it, so. They are going to move this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a victory point of recognition. Roll the dice. And that is done. All right, back to me. I am going to deliver two stone here, which finishes that. It required a stone, sorry, two stones, a brick, and a purple gem, which I have delivered. And I have one more delivery, so I'm just gonna throw this over here. So this one's done. All the resources can go back to the supply. I am gonna get seven victory points and three money. Three money and seven uh, recognition. And this will go like that. Seven. I'm at five, so 12. That's that, back to them. They're gonna do the white die. One, two, three. They're getting a victory uh, recognition for being in this sector. They're gonna re-roll. And they're gonna do their action, which is sending these four goods to this card. So next time they can do a delivery when we get to that card. All right, back to me. I can try to claim something, I think. Um, what goods do I wanna go for? Well, that lines up nicely to get green. One, two, three, four. Coins there, I don't care about those at the moment. Nothing amazing out there. What are they going to roll? They're going to roll a yellow. Maybe I'll see what they do there, and I'll just claim one of these cards. I will claim... Should I just keep going for the base ones? Sure. I'll claim that. This isn't that good to me, but it's okay. I'm going to put this with the yellow, and hopefully they give me a good yellow option. I'm going to spend two. Put that there. All right, them, they're gonna move the yellow. One, two, three. They give a four, which didn't help me at all. Spend that, they're gonna to try to go over top of me. The best one is here. So they're gonna take that, and this goes away. That wasn't a VP, right? Nope. Okay, so they're taking that. Done. And back to me. So the board did not change how I had hoped. One, two, three, four. I do get the two wood there, which is helpful. I need two wood here, and I need one wood here. I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four. So I get a recognition, because I moved the yellow. I get two wood. Reroll this, and I can trade items, but I'm not going to. I am done. They are moving the blue dice, four. One, two, three, four. They are again getting the recognition for being over here. Rerolling these. And they're getting four more goods. And 
that, do that. Four more goods in this, and then they're done. Next turn, they are done, so they're gonna try to build the door. Um, me, I'm just gonna deliver. I'm gonna deliver a wood and a brick to finish this one out. Two bricks, a wood, and a gem. And then this last wood I can do, because it could do three, and I'll put it right there. So this one's done. Back to the supply for these. I get three coins and seven recognition. I'm at 13, so I'm going to 20. Three coins. And flip that. And that is my deliver action. Back to here, they're gonna do a door. So they're gonna build a door on my building right here. Uh, let's see. Build a card, can ornament first. Where to place it? They will try to decorate the construction player. Yep. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh. If Ivan has placed an ornament, he gets one prestige. He doesn't have to pay any materials to place them. All right, so he's getting a prestige, which stinks because that's a whole prestige, and he started at the very beginning. Oh, well. All right, so he's going to flip. Well, he's going to, for next turn, he's swapping all these. I'll give these a shuffle. And the game is going to end. So we're going to trigger end game when someone has contributed six. Right now I've done two. Six to the cathedral. All right, now clearly I need items. I have zero. I've delivered everything I could. What I need here, uh, one of each, okay. Well, I can't even go here because it's full. Otherwise, I could just drop those six there and get a lot of the green emerald looking things. Yikes, another bad board. So I think I'm just gonna go gather wood. I'm gonna move two, one, two, and get four wood. Because I know I need two at least. Let me roll these. I don't have ability for blue, so I do not get anything there. I could trade two for one. I only need two. I will. I'll trade two for a stone. Yeah, two for a stone. Well, those stones are easier to come by. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it. All right. They're moving the white. One, two, three. They are getting four victory points, four recognition. They're at 19, they're going 23. And they're done. And that was this. All right, to me. Over that. I think I want to claim something. I got the money for it. I'm going to claim this one here. I will pay. I'm going to pay $3 to put it on the green. Good to go. They're moving the yellow. And I'm moving it six. I get a v, uh, victory point. Flip that, and they will do their first delivery. So they are going to go ahead and finish out this. They can do four. Unlike me, that I can only do three. They can do four. So they're going to finish this. And then they're gonna look, oh, what's the order they wanna build? Do they wanna contribute to the one above me, probably? I'll make sure. Um, build, construct, uh, doesn't need to match resources. To determine which card will see the materials, look from left to right, bottom to top. The first card claimed by Ivan 
that you will find will be where the material is placed. So it would all go here, and this one would actually go here. All right, so this is done for him. He is getting eight recognition. Eight recognition for Ivan. Puts him at 32. And that's done. Back to me. He's now got an engine going finally. It just took him a little longer. I can do a delivery, but it wouldn't finish anything, so I think I'm going to keep going. Um, unless the board isn't great for it. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to do this one, the green. One, two, three, four. This is going to give me four, five stone. Five stone. And I'm going to sell one of them for a dollar. So I'm going to, that's good right there. So I'm going to take four stone and a dollar. Reroll these. Back to him. He is going to transfer these goods over here. He's going to move the blue dice. Three. One, two, three. Nothing here for him. He's going to re-roll. And we're good. Back to me. I will deliver a stone, a wood, and a stone clear out some room okay back to him I didn't finish anything there so it's back to him he is gonna move the blue die or the green one two three four get a recognition over here and place out another one of these he wants to go over top of me again so he's gonna take that one and this is going away and we're rolling the green All right, I need bricks, which I cannot quite get yet. What will give me bricks? Hmm. I could purchase, if I end here, well, I sold last time, oh well. I don't want this four, one, two, three, four, but I could just spend one and go here, because I don't want any more of those. I don't need it for any of my things. I only need two of these. So I think I will spend a coin to make that green go one farther. Here. Get a victory point. And go ahead and spend two to get a brick. I could do either one. I can build over top of him, actually. Um... That might not be a bad plan to build over top of him instead. In that case, I would get a gold. Which is what? Yeah. I'm going to get a gold. I'm going to spend two to buy gold. Reroll this and back to him. He's over here, moving the red. He moves over here to six. Reroll. And he's getting four items. We'll give him some gold. And that will be his turn. He re rolled already. Okay. I'm delivering. So I'm going to build over top of him, which makes him lose some victory points. I'm going to build here, which finishes that. He has this uncompleted. I can deliver one more thing, which I will. Oh, can I? No, I cannot. Oh well. I can only do the two. I could do a window on there, but I wouldn't get any prestige for doing the decoration. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Maybe I will. Sure. All right, these go away. I get two coins. Five recognition. Puts me at 26. Oops, I almost threw away his stuff. And I'm going to spend my last 
delivery with a stone to simply put a window out and it won't give me any other benefit other than having contributed. He has been overbuilt, so he's gonna lose a recognition. And now he's gonna do a decora decoration himself. He is looking to do a window, but you notice I just took that. So guess what, buddy? You don't get to do it. You don't get to do it. I like that a lot. So that was definitely the best move to go ahead and build that so he couldn't contribute. So he's just going to flip over his stuff. Look at what I need here. I need brick still. And I could try to claim another. All right. So he couldn't do the decoration. Uh, let's see. All right, that's done then. He couldn't do the decoration. They're all reset back to me. I was just rechecking re the rules to make sure he doesn't continue with another turn. Okay. Brick. Well, that's good. I can get bricks easily. And that'll trigger off again. All right, cool. So I'm going to get four bricks. And a stone. Because it's the green that triggers. And the green is there. Wait a minute. Sorry. I did the green, yeah, so I get a stone. I could pay to do some deliveries over here. Let me roll these before I forget. I do have the money to. I could simply finish this one, which seems like a good idea. I will pay one coin to deliver a brick to that. So right here. So this one's done as well. There, there, there. Four coins and eight recognition. Four coins. Eight recognition. 34. All right, back in the lead. All right, over to him. He's about ready to take the lead right back. He's moving five. One, two, three, four, five. He will get a victory point and then four more victory points. So... Five victory points. Puts him at 37, right back in first. That's done. Reroll these. All right, back to me. I need to claim something because I've already done everything here. I have, well, I definitely want this one then. So I will claim that. Coin, sure, whatever. It's not a great one, but I'll spend it. Two. And I'll throw it on the blue. No, I'll throw it on the white. Okay, over to him. He is going with green. One, two, three. Another recognition. Flip that. Roll these. That's a popular spot over there. It always has three dice. And he's going to go ahead and deliver. He is delivering. He needs three things here, done, so that one's done, and he'll go ahead and deliver that there. So he's going to get eight more recognition, and I couldn't overbuild them again as much as I would like to. Eight more recognition for yellow, puts him at 46, he's pulling ahead, and that's done. All right. Do those. Nothing out there needs bricks, so I definitely want to trade my brick. All right, what can I get? Let's see. I think, where am I at? Oh, I don't want to drop prestige. Just three recognition if I drop a prestige and re-roll. This would give me stone, which I don't want. 
one, two, three. Yeah, that would give me stone as well, of course. Yuck. This would give me two gold. I'll do that. I'll get two gold. Go! Oh, no, no. There we go. Two gold. I could do delivery for a dollar. Do I really care to do a delivery for a dollar? Let's see. Two stone, one gold. Sure. I'll do a dollar for a single delivery, which will be a gold. And I'll just put it up here because I'm going to do this next turn. I'm going to deliver all the bottom, the one below it. Oh, what am I doing? I haven't even claimed that one yet. That was my plan in the future. <laughs> so I'll do one here. Fair enough. Yeah. <sighs> sure. Because I don't really need the money that bad. All right. And I got to reroll. Don't know if I move the white or the red, so I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna take the dollar because I don't remember. Ooh, I would get something though for sure. Ooh, I wish I can rewind. Was it white or red? This one would help me. Oh, neither one's gonna help me actually. Whatever, I'll take the coin. All right. Don't know if it was white or red. I was either gonna get a purple gem or a coin. I took the coin because I don't know which one it was. Hopefully it was white. Okay. So they are taking their action. We know they're going to ship these over to this card. That's this action. And they're going to move the yellow. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And re-roll these. And they're done. I'm going to claim this. And I'll spend $2 to put it here. Claiming the last one there for myself. And that's my turn. Back over here. They're moving the blue dice. They're gonna move it four. One, two, three, four. Reroll it. And they're gonna put this over here. Discard it. And that's done. I will deliver. Definitely doing the two stones to finish this off. And I'll throw a gold over here. This is done. It'll give me four recognition and two coins. Four recognition. And two coins. Now I gotta look at starting getting some gems. All right, back to Buddy over here. Buddy's getting four resources. Three wood, a brick. Moving the red six, which is here. It's gonna get a victory point for that. And roll. Okay, back to me. And I see he wants to build a window there. But I'm not gonna stop him this time. Um, yeah, I'm not going to. I want that green gem. Where am I at? I might lose a prestige to re-roll a dice. I would love to get a one or a two to get here with this white one. So I'm gonna lose a prestige, re-roll this. It's all the dice at one location, one or two. Nope. I don't wanna do it again. It's too expensive at that point. So I think I'm going to go here with that. My, my plan B. So I'm going to six. I'll get two recognition. And I'll spend two to get a green emerald. Two bucks. Two rubles. Green. And reroll. And that was a white die, so I get a coin. Got to remember to do that. That die is a coin. Okay. Reroll. All right. He's going to do a decoration right where he said he would. So he's going to go ahead and do that. He gets one prestige. 
which is only one recognition in this case, so that's okay. And he's gonna flip all these back. And my turn. I need to deliver. Okay, so I need a wood. Well, I could just move the blue die. That gives me a wood. So I think I'll do that. All right. So what does the blue die give me? One, two, three, four, five. That will give me a gold and a wood. So I'm ready for my next turn. I can do a delivery. do a door but that would kind of kind of um, not doing any ornaments that are worth much you have to spend these gems and you'll get prestiges on these the more gems the better you can spend either or to get it and put it as a nice ornament on your door or window or cross at the top or I could spend both and get three prestige. But I really wanted to use this to finish off that. So I think I am not, I'm gonna say no to that. And I probably just do a delivery action next turn as opposed to spending three. Ooh, maybe not, because I only need to spend three. I can do two, and all I need to do is two. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend three. One, two, three, to do two deliveries. So this and this, which will finish that off. And that's six for me. So that's going to trigger the game end. That, which I don't know if it's a good thing yet. I'll find out. Eight recognition. Puts me at 47. I'm one behind him. All right. Let me look to see. Game end here. What does he get to do? Anything? They gain additional three. I don't think I gain the additional three in a solo game when you finish. Nope. What, until you are even to finish their six points. Regardless of it, as soon as the player, no player will get the three bonus, okay? That answers that question. The other players will each have one final turn before final points. Okay. He does have a final turn, and unfortunately, that final turn is going to give him points. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to give him four points. Puts him at 52. Boo. But I may have caught up here. All right, so how this goes. He has majority here. Every, every card is worth two points. Every ornament is worth one point. Well, he has ownership of then... Five, uh, three of the five points available. So he's going to get all five. So he's getting five. And that, is that prestige? I think it is. Prestige? Yes, it is. Five prestige for him. So he's going to go to 23. He's at 18 now. 23 prestige. Big move for him. I am going to get, since I contributed something, I will get half rounded down. So two. One, two, not very much. Here, I have the majority. He has a total of three. I have a total of seven. This in total value is two, five, eight, ten points. Because I'm counting the decorations. So this card's three, this card's three, this card's two, this card's two. So I said ten. So a ten goes to me. That'll be a big move. So I'm going to go 27 prestige. And he did contribute it, so he is getting 5. And that'll go to 28. So he jumps right ahead. Next, I'm the only one that did this one. There's only 2 value, though, so I'm going to get 2. Next, again, I'm the only one that did it. I get 2. 1, 2. Okay, you get 
one prestige for every five material and rubles. Okay. Two. All right, so I get one prestige. They, technically they have eight items, so they should get one as well. Next. That's it. That is it. So I won 32 to 29. Hopefully didn't make too many mistakes. My first playthrough a solo game here of Red Cathedral. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment them below. Until next time, I am Nick with Envy Board Gaming, and I'll see you guys around.